Last night, Collision 2024 wrapped up in New Jersey, and it drew out every single notable talent in North America to come out and compete at Tri-State's iconic tournament series. The theme of this year's Collision was heroes versus villains, and that certainly came to be true throughout this bracket. Speaking of which, a lot of what made this tournament notable was, as usual, outside of the top 8. Like I normally do, tomorrow I'll be releasing a video going over all of that craziness. The massive upsets, the impressive losers runs, the first seed placing 17th, and much, much more. But today, we'll just be recapping the top 8 of Collision 2024, seeing how they got there and how they did within the top 8 itself. And we'll get started by taking a look at losers 8s, those sets being Meister vs Light and MKLeo vs Mutes. Let's start with Leo and Mute, shall we? MKLeo came into the tournament as the 5th seed, starting off the weekend by getting through pools, dropping a game to Swan on the way into Phase 2. Once there, MKLeo defeated Beast and Marcus, previously known as the Great Gonzalez, both in 3-0 set victories. However, it was at this point that MKLeo suffered a loss to Cola in a Game 5 set, dropping into losers and first defeating Cosmos 3-0. After this, MKLeo went on a minor losers run, defeating DeBuzz 3-0 and lastly Lima in a close Game 5 last hit scenario, in order to make it into Top 8 through losers side. Mudes came into collision as the 10th seed, starting off the weekend by getting through pools. Going Game 5 against Lettuce Boy, who presumably plays Game & Watch, as well as dropping a game to Bobo in order to make it into Phase 2. Once here, Mudes would truly face trials and tribulations, being forced to reverse 3-0 both Yoda Cage and Monty in tense Game 5 sets, before going on to gracefully 3-0 Sinji. Mudes was now sitting in Winner's Quarter Finals, but once here, would lose to Spargo 3-1 dropping into losers and lastly defeating DD 3-1 in order to make it into top 8 through losers side to go up against MK Leo. He just actually threw out that down beat and look at that now our sends out last stock scenario 59% Ooh, he definitely had that he had that called out that rolling back here won't be enough just yet either great DI up to the corner option coverage city last time it was a stall from Leo because he had a tether but there was no tether available as he can only go for that up B and Mutates closes it out. Okay, there we go. I actually like tossing it up because there's a chance, like depending on how Leo recovers, that he actually grabs that turn up when he's trying to get to that ledge. There we go, finds a way back. Wow, back to the stage once more. And he's jumping all over the place, man. We're slowing down here too. We're looking for a drag down, anything we can find. Short hop forward here, maybe we'll do it, but we're getting out of ranges now with all this rage. So Leo has to look for a straight hit and you know what? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Delicioso. Give me that up smash. Just barely misses out on it. <laughs> Mutes definitely recognizing the problem that they created for themselves here. And ooh, okay, gets back to stage three. Now has a turn up. Gonna get rid of that immediately because he don't need it. That turn up toss looked it just sad. <laughs> Went absolutely nowhere. <laughs> oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> we got those all day, every day. Mute does not drop those. Okay, there we go. Tries to go for that forward there, trying to catch him right before he gets the ledge. Does not get it. There we go, forward air, put Leo off stage. One more hit to be able to do it. Does go for it. Ooh. Crazy recovery off. Almost had the frame trap that Mute was looking for, but instead goes back to the ledge as MK Leo. 133, but Arsene is almost there. It will not show its face though, as it's gonna be the back air one more time. The turn up toss up. Ah, you actually, I like that. Doing a get up attack, because you don't have to worry about the hitbox coming down. And you actually were able to get that, but there we go. The drag down up here to the up smash, closing out that first stock here in game three. Was wondering if we would see a different stage after the way that Butte was surviving that previous one, and those platforms were working out very well. Now, over Ooh. here on Hollow Bastion, looking much better at least to start here for Leo. Yeah, I mean, right now, I, I like the fact that Butte should just continue to go through. Ah, that's a little bit dangerous. He's going to make it back, no problem, though. Still have that flow going. Built different to go down there and still go for that back air. Uh, I don't know where that DI was, but... <laughs> I like that. I like that jumping off the ledge, getting right to that middle platform. But now Mew Ace trying to find a way to close this out, looking for the hit that they need. And they got the back turn. Well, that's the jump. You have to go high. You have to stall. And that's a, <laughs> that is going to go ahead and get it done. Dot eyes. And in the end, Mew Ace defeated MK Leo 3 0, moving on in bracket and eliminating MK Leo at seventh place as the fifth seed. It's now time for us to take a look at the other side of Losers 8th's Meister versus Light. Light came into the tournament as the fourth seed, starting off the weekend by sweeping Phase 1 pools flawlessly. And after making it into Phase 2, Light went on to defeat Zai 3-0, as well as both Chunky Kong and Mars in extremely close Game 5 sets. Light had just made it into Winner's Quarter Finals, but once here, would lose in a close Game 5 nailbiter set to Cola, dropping down into Losers and lastly defeating Zamba in another close Game 5, which got misreported as a 3-1 on Star GG in order to make it into top 8 through loser's side. Meister came into collision as the ninth seed, 
starting off the weekend by sweeping pools flawlessly, just like Light had, not dropping a single game on the way into Phase 2. Once there, Meister defeated JJJJ 3-0, John Numbers 3-1, and lastly, Riddles in another 3-1, reaching winner's quarterfinals, again, just like Light had. And once here, Meister would lose 3-0 to Onan, dropping into losers and lastly defeating Peepnut 3-0. This means that Meister has now defeated two players recently after they defeated Mia, those players being Rofflo and Peebnut respectively. I'm gonna go ahead and let you all decipher whatever meaning out of this that you want to, but either way, it allowed Meister to enter top 8 from loser's side, to go up against Light. Get that. Meister looking like he's kind of recollecting himself a little bit here after that hot start that Light had on that second stock. Starting to build up that damage, 62%. You're gonna get that up there finally. But remember, 62 is not that hard to find a KO. There he goes. Ah, small start, but he'll find a way out of it. Light currently the first one to reach kill percent. Multiple way, absolutely nothing though. So we put on another 40% and Meister all of a sudden in that same position. Yep, there it is. Just a little bit of that. Extra damage, a strong Woo! attack. And hey, let me tell you something. Back here in bio, as Light finds a way to battle back and get that game won coming out like it's easy to react to that with the up beat. Now Light very smartly moving away trying to read where that down air would land. Uh, like, oh, Whoa! Wow! Not many people are brave enough to go after that but there's the punish on that down, uh, down air he was looking for before. 84% difference between these two. Meister's usually really good at throwing up that up smash like the timing on it is usually really good for him. Yeah, oh wow what a tech! But what a great turnaround on that too using the up smash to keep him out. The back air to close it out as well. I like what he's done here too. 85%. It's the perfect range to go for that nair, but he doesn't pull the trigger. And now it's going to be on Meister to be able to try and land around this, and he does. Yeah, that full horn tilt. Not going to take the stock. He's looking for a way to go out there. And you do throw up the air. Not you're living. You are living the mango. The mango. The mango. From light to get back to the stage. 102 to 135 with that dash attack. It's not going to do it just yet either. I thought it was done. I thought it was done. I don't know how he stayed alive here, but he's doing it. 157. Honestly, you land with that Nair and should be able to close up the stock. The back there doesn't. The back there yeah, doesn't force it. The, the back there will finally it. do it. So Meister deciding, I want that extra platform so I can get a new landing option because down there was not feeling as safe as maybe he liked it to be. To try and get back on that stage. Granted, oh. Light almost missing. If he got that Nair, that might have been the game. And he's going to get oh. the reverse that time. Won't be enough just yet. Dude, I love the creativity coming out here. It looks like Light starting to think a little bit more, especially when it comes to this up air and finding a way to punish it. And we do get that back air closing it out. Giving these platforms a game and watch, it can extend this combo game a lot. But because of how fast of a baller that Fox is, it's actually allowing Light to find a lot of options, a lot of space, and the punish on the down air. Meister starts up smashing. There's not a lot of people who find really strong punishes on that. So the fact that Light's got a few, yeah, he's definitely been practicing. He's been working on this one out. Oh, wow! Sets him right up on that platform for the up smash. That's crazy. Yeah, that was perfectly spaced again. Like, wow, well, but that back there finds its mark. You stay on target. Decided to go right back into it. 90%. This is that down air, near window. But that lingering hit from that near getting him out of there. Yep. Ooh. Oh, wow. Huge option right there. Get into Nair. Just get a little bit of that opening. Uh-oh! It's such a great anti-air tool. Yep. There, oh, and wow. that's gonna do wow. it right there! As that dash that comes through, and he gets the back air! Dude, okay, Big Crusher is actually a, uh, like a power-up for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? Keep doing it. <laughs> right now, Meissner looking to try and answer back. Remember, as Fox, you can die at pretty much any given moment. Like oh, so! Oh, and it's gonna even it right back up! <laughs> Light will not close it out off that landing. Yo, I know PE's watching right now. He's popping the hell off. He wants Woo! to let him go. And he gets it, man. He, just like game one. Just like game one. He gets the he gets the parry on that. He gets the down smash. He goes. And in a close game five set, Light defeated Meister 3-2, moving on in bracket and eliminating Meister at seventh place as the ninth seed. Before we can catch up with Light and Mutes in loser's bracket though, we have to take a look up at winner semifinals. Those sets being Onin vs Cola and Spargo vs Shaddock. Let's start by taking a look at Spargo and Shaddock, shall we? Spargo came into the tournament as the second seed, starting off the weekend by sweeping phase 1 pools without dropping a single game, then moving into phase 2 pools and defeating Quan P and Cosmos 3-0 as well as both Peebnut and lastly Mudes, both in 3-1s, in order to make it into top 8 through winner's side. Shaddock came into collision as the number 6 seed, starting off the weekend by sweeping phase 1 pools flawlessly, just like Spargo had, before moving on into phase 2 and defeating Tony Pajamas and Icy Mist, both in 3-0 victories, before reverse 3-0ing Jackal 3-2 and lastly defeating Lima in a close game 5 set, 
in order to make it into top eight through winner's side to go up against Spargo. And limit on deck, this is terrifying. Here we go, gonna keep that damage up and the oh damage of, oh my God, what, what, what? You're saved though. But what for? And you want, oh no, okay, you got to stop. But what for? <laughs> okay, listen. Obviously, Spargo deserved to lose that stock, but how did that hit? We don't, she needs it. She needs it. She doesn't, she, might, she doesn't need it. She doesn't need it anymore. Back here is going to get the top done, though. You see the hat, uh, kind of just, uh, does he find a way back? Yes, the recovery will find their way there. 137, that's a lot of rage, by the way. The pin at, at ledge, that was, this, this should get it. Yeah, that was really good, considering Spargo's uh, conditioning at ledge has been near perfect. But Cross Slash, up beyond a shield, are both sitting there. Available options if Shadow gets a little bit missed space. That downer will just do it, though. Knowing when to end your turn is very important too. Spargo uh, was ready and willing to punish any type of progressive play there from Shattuck. Shattuck pull, uh, smartly backing off. Yep. There you go, back arrow. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, I'm You know what? I, I respect what he was going for out there, and then the limit just disappeared at the very end. It sucks, but it is what it is. But it's been difficult to close out the stock early. That was a little terrifying. Yeah. I was a little bit terrified. Yeah, and it doesn't matter whether you won or someone helped you win. You take that W every day of the week. Going for a fourth ah! oh, oh, No whoa! way! Whoa! Whoa! You are so smart for that. Yo, and the okay, the footstool tech chase to get the throw to look for a follow-up. Do we close it out off the back air? No, instead trying to go for a side B. And Spargo racking up the damage. Oh, you can keep going. You can uh -oh. absolutely keep going for that. Tries to get the spike, and yes, you do! And Spargo does not let that one singular mistake get away. All right, there we go, the back air, putting them way off stage. All right, got a little dip back to ledge, you know, not going to utilize any of those resources to try and close it out the forward tilt. Once more coming out here, looking for the downer, not going to get the connection he needs, but the up smash will do it. Kind of just knows that reacting with DI on these up airs has been the, the, the thing he needs. Looking for a cross up on DI there, but actually pretty much going nowhere. And no punish there on the uh -oh. parry either. This is pretty big for Spargo. There was a potential that we saw a finishing touch there. Oh, but the sliding forward tilt. Ah, that's going to be enough to take out that stock and man Spargo up strongly once again. Not able to get the damage on the table to where it was available at that moment and we're going to get the top of Hawk. Even though it doesn't kill, it's just going to lead to that much closer of a game and that F tilt will Bro. finish it as Spargo dashing back, repositioning into the F tilt and we will see Spargo. And in the end, Spargo defeated Shattuck 3-1, moving on into winner's finals and sending Shattuck down into loser's quarters against Light. But before we see that set, we have to take a look at the other side of winner's semis. Kola versus Onan. Kola came into the tournament as the 12th seed, starting off the weekend by getting through phase one pools, going game five against Bonk, but clutching it out in the end in order to enter into phase two, where Kola then defeated PK Chris 3-1, before having three game five sets all in a row, defeating Beastly, MK Leo, and then Light, all 3-2, in order to make it into top eight through winner's side. Onan came into collision as the 16th seed, the lowest seed to make top eight. Onan started off the weekend by sweeping phase one pools without dropping a single game, as has been the pattern. After this, Onan moved on into phase two pools, defeating MPG 3-1, Tilde 3-0, the first seed Tweak 3-0, and lastly Meister in one last 3-0 sweep in order to make it into top eight through winner's side to go up against Cola. Much about the double edge dance on that platform, and that down smash is going to lead to the first stop. You know, I think that he maybe was either trying to call off the jump or he was actually trying to like be reverse it underneath the platform. That might have been what he was trying to do. He does find a way to get the stock right back, only taking nine percent in the process. Oh. Okay, gets that forward tilt, not gonna get the hit that they need. Looking for that jab, and there's like no resources here either. Yes. So Odin is actually in a bit of a tough spot. What is he? I was actually going to point that out too because there's no diamond or anything, but Cola falling out of these each and every time. The counter will be enough, and Cola going to get game number one. Uh, that rollback is going to go ahead and make an attempt to try and get those jabs out, but at 170% still. And finally, we're going to get that up here to close it out. Yep, very solid stuff here. Taking no damage in that process too, definitely. Cola moment, but yeah, you know what? That's fine. Cola knows how to adjust to those scenarios. And he can lock right back in. There we go. Gets up air, mid air. Yep, getting these. Actually, keep that was like a was it what Prom does, right? Yeah, honestly, pretty pretty similar play. And uh, you know, a, a thing that can. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that no shot. And the worst part about that too is that if you tech it, you're still getting punished. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, I'm surprised it actually kind of hit. Oh, and what okay. the. Look, you take that! You take that, Kazek! 
what, what felt like should have been the stock for Onin instead turns into a stock for Cola, but that back air will actually not do it. Cola gets to hold on to it just a little longer. I mean, now he should be good. He's got that diamond out. Yep, gonna throw it back there a couple times. Oh, and there it goes. The gold powered mine card. Gonna be able to close it out. One stock apiece here. It is dead even, AJ. It's just kind of straightforward recovery. You have to go That's to Rage. Out. That's Rage, AJ. Ooh. That's Rage. Oh, he goes all the way out there, but the mine card's going to have to make it back off there. Yeah, another Nair. I believe that's 4 for 4 We're going to go all the way up. No, we're going to let him rock and land and see if we can try and close this out in a moment. Oh, oh no! I li Listen, I respect it. I respect it. Very smartly on Onan, going for the gold tools to have better frame data to try and challenge Whoa. the game saying no as Onan able to get away from that situation. But the up smash instead has something else to say. They bumped that move. They bumped that move out of shield. They made that so much faster. He needs it. <laughs> he needs it. And now he's like a problem to some people. But you know what? Cloud sick. I don't care. Anyway, forward air into the dash jack. Limits back on deck here. The back air. And man, dude, Cola's playing phenomenal. Is he going to close it out? I thought we were going to see him. I think we might see I thought we were going to see the finishing touch. Bro. Cola has refused. Oh, and the roll read as well with the cross signs. We're getting that game number five. Race. That is the plot armor you needed if you're looking to root for the Moist Boys right now. That limit coming through perfectly and almost had that back air just barely missing. Bro, this is terrifying. The back air will close it out. And the crowd is alive, AJ. They want they want Steve gone. Let's be real. They want no, Steve look, so bad. look. Mark is a villain for a reason, but the heroes always step up. There's a lot in the way. Cola gets caught in the back air and it's not going to be enough just yet. Odin does not get to close out. Oh, whoa! What the? <laughs> what, what the heck was that? I don't know. I've never seen that before, but that was scary as hell. Right now, Cola gets the back air. Only looking to try to get back on stage. Cola turns him out. Here comes the oh back air God. again. Oh, oh no! That's that gonna be, be it right there. Close it up. It's game over. And now we see Cola get set to lose his bracket. Only with the pop off, and the crowd is deflated as the villains take another one. Well, incredibly close set at the. Very and in a close Game 5 set, Onan defeated Cola 3-2, moving on into winner's finals against Spargo and sending Cola down into loser's quarters in order to face off against Mutes. And since we're talking about it already, let's just go watch that set now, shall we? Pretty safe itself on shield. Yeah, it's only punishable if it just hits nothing. It hits your shield, you kind of like got a lot of room there, but we do see the back here come out. Ooh, that's the jump burn. Yeah, you gotta just air dodge away. Very good call from you, keeping it simple. You don't need to overcomplicate it against the recovery like Royce. Yep. Hey, there we go, the forward. <laughs> Again, that soft hit. But you should be able to close this out, right? There we go. Good stuff from Cola. Oh, there we go, the back air. Ah, uh, did he get anything too much out of that? Okay, wait, well, I like that. The falling up here, you get a follow up with that. 86% now, though. Ah, a little too committal. Akiwari get on with it, trying to find our way into a closeout, and we will yep. as we see the Jab Bear. Almost confusing to watch them live this long, considering the playstyles we're watching, but Fordra won't do it. It's just all about getting that stage position. Yep. He's just running back and forth, finally gets it the strong hit in the forward air, taking out that first stock. Cola takes a nice strong lead here in game two. Yes, there we go, man. Keeps that damage up immediately. 19%, nothing crazy, but the pressure was huge. <laughs> and the frying pan coming out. All right, so it's about getting back on stage here. Whoa! Whoa. Just barely off the mark, but that should be it. And Cola closes out that game, too. Refusing to get KO'd. That was actually a really, really quick like, grab as well. Uh-oh. Oh, falls right out of it. Super unfortunate. But now Mew Ace with an opening here and a potential to take a stock lead with the forward air and gets it. AC Cola, not too happy about that one right there. But off putting it into your back pocket, not letting that get to you. For Mew, at this point, it's about building up as much damage as you can. Yeah, you don't need to run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not see double edge dances being an option. There's Mr. Saturn again. again. Cola's been able to put on damage fast and in a hurry. And uh, that is multiple interactions lost in a row. Trying to find a falling aerial to get a big party starter going for Cola, but Mew smartly getting access to a turnip. See if you can try and keep it safe. Turnip's gonna go to Cola and Whoa! Cola looking for a follow-up, getting these turnip tosses himself. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think uh, I don't think he wanted to catch that turnip after the first toss. It's now time, get Cola. Uh, oh, Mew gets the uh, gets the right call, but doesn't get the follow-up punish in that back air. Alright, let's see. Ooh, gets back to that ledge once again. Mew Ace is definitely really on top of like. Keeping that pressure on Cola. He does need to be aware. Like, he can't relax while off stage. We do see the forward there, though. Close out that stock. Now, three stocks to two. That could be evening it up, and it does. 
Cola will find a way to force a game five. It's just a matter of getting back down to the stage, getting down to safety. But Cola with the ledge trap gets the grab, goes for the down throw. It's just yeah. so scary, Ajax. And that's gonna be it right there off the off tilt as Cola dropping the controller out of excitement on that. Mutis gonna take it. And in the end, Cola defeated Mutis 3-1, moving on in bracket and eliminating Mutis at fifth place as the 10th seed. Cola now sat in loser semifinals, and to see who else would make it here, let's go and take a look at the other side of loser's quarters. Light versus Shattuck. Excuse me. It's a, weird, um, it's a weird position in general yeah. when that happens. You kind of almost have to let that go or look for a tech chase maybe when you just drop down. But if Shattuck does do that in case you just drop down the pin. But back here at ledge, we'll kill at this position. We're going to get the throw instead. Yep, great grab, 103%. Looking for a way to close it out. Ooh, nice. And that's one of those scenarios where like, the reaction obviously is to tech because you think you're in trouble. Shattuck looking for a falling up air or something probably pretty soon. Back here will definitely do it as well. Yep, there we go. Up throw. Guess for some positioning here. Try to see if you can get a jungle scenario. Maybe find an up air. That is, might is be that enough it? there is. Wow. Not even enough. The corner DI. Light holding on. But the late hit of up air 100%. We'll get it done. Shattuck putting the first one on the board. Getting the damage back on about 40%. We're going to get that grab, and of course, you mentioned before, Light, you know Light's doing well when you're seeing a healthy amount of grabs come out of him, and that's a big call there from that jump off ledge. Yet another reaction, Light oh! looking for the roll-in and the extra charge at that. Ah, I like that. Great punish, though. Dash attack into the forward air. He's going to be looking for a way to close this out. Wasn't able to get it. And again, utilizing these lasers quite a bit more. It doesn't rack up a whole lot of damage, but it can make a difference here. Yeah. Shattuck being very smart, not utilizing any downers at a disadvantage against Light, because sometimes you can sneak one in, but against Fox, not so great. And there is a Classico coming in from the side B into the up air. It, there, there was an attempt, it's just you up tilted the wrong yeah, way. It's kind of hard to turn that around really quickly sometimes, so I'm not surprised that Light wasn't able to get it. But like next time, I feel like he's going to be right on top of it. Oh Whoa. my god! You know what? Sometimes just send it. 75% stealing that stock away on an unfamiliar landing option, but Light answering right back off the short hop, baiting out that air dive. We're going to go for the wrong read, though, back there since coast to coast. Light in a huge deficit. This is the largest deficit he's faced pretty much all of this set so far. Okay. And the up air will be enough as Shattuck taking a nice 2 1 lead here. I mean, there's a plenty. We'll be at the ledge, of course. That's one of your best Whoa. options. That platform coming in, kind of helping out Shattuck for a moment, but Shattuck's still stuck here, taking so much damage, and this is only helping out Light get that confidence back. Yep. I, oh, wow, wow. Okay, I'm surprised he got down to the ground without any real hassle, but we do see the pin. We do see the kick. We do see the last stock scenario here for Light. Low uh -oh. there and trying to close it out, but we're going to just down smash. 32% light facing elimination stock. Like you said, this is a very, very, very scary scenario that Shattuck could close out. And that might be enough here on town. It's not going to be enough just yet. Oh, okay, the high recovery. I do respect it, but that is going to be it as Shattuck punches his ticket into losers semi-finals. And look at the pop-off here. Huge for Shattuck. Big up Zedanic, I know he's absolutely losing his mind right now. 100%, that matchup is... And ultimately, Shattuck defeated Light 3-1, conquering a Bracket Demon in order to move on in Bracket, and eliminating Light at 5th place as the 4th seed. Shattuck now moved on into loser semifinals in order to go up against Cola. Cola, man, started off a huge 85 and ledge control. Definitely the best party starter for a character like Roy. A ton of advantage off of that. Woo. Okay, Lord, Cola yeah. starting off so hot. Got the air dodge into tech in oh though. Oh my god! Wow, almost frying his stock right there. Oh! oh and even the weak down air is enough to do it! He, he's my gonna, god! He's spike you down to Davy Jones or get the stock off the side. Cola ridiculous right now. Ingenuity when it comes to this oh game. Oh my god. Dude. That's what's allowed them to go so far with these characters that are all things considered pretty linear. Nice land here now. Shattuck typically so good at slowing the game. Now, oh my god, up air, up air. Oh goodness, the connection right there. The sour to sweet. High movement, technical play style. And Cola, I mean, nice. if you've ever seen the kid play melee, he can press some buttons. Oh yeah, I forgot he's a good melee player. True. Got a game off Omsa here last year. That's right. Wow, good memory, Max. Jab back, jab forward air actually the ledge. Keep that fresh. Get the freshie going. Get up the ledge. Perry, oh, oh didn't identify. With the wave bounce too. Uh -huh. Shattuck. It's rare that you see this kid on the back foot like this. He's so good at responding, but Cola, a different force right now. Oh my god, Ooh. the up tilt shutting Ooh. down the jump in as well. This is 
probably just a go next for Shattuck. I mean, I've seen him make crazy comebacks. I point to that set against Lima earlier today, but Cola not one to let it happen to him. It's right, Already man. two games up. Falling neutral air. That could have been fatal if the up air connected. Hold Ooh. on. Oh my Got god, dude! Two. But the weak up air into the strong one. We're going to see a plenty more of that Bro. as long as Cola remains in this bracket. What a reversal, too, because it was under the core up air, too. What a tough move to challenge. Cola clearly has done his homework. Not against that, though. The classic turnaround board smash, the old tri state. Here we are in the last stock, potentially the last game in this set. Let's see what Shattuck has to say about it. Starting off on the right foot though, attacking on some early damage, all these trades. Oh, and he knew Cola was gonna come down with some kind of aggressive option. Whoa! No way you died this early. Bro, you what wanna the hell? you wanna back air at the ledge? Sounds good to me. You can just hold it at your leisure, let it go whenever you want. So Shattuck already kicking things off pretty well in this game four. And air to back air, yeah, you cannot neutral get up against four. Well, it's fun, oh, man. There's the pain and you as can't well. even reach uh, the damn ledge yeah, half the no. time either. So much pressure right now from Shattuck. You can see the movement coming out from him, trying to dash under the area, but Cola catching him, getting the full screen punish into a KO. Real Cola stuff right there. These are two players that make you really feel it on hit. Definitely. So thorough with their punish games. Oh, oh my, my god, god that dude. was a rising neutral air that yeah. time. Not even the juicy landing hit that gives you the most frame advantage on hit. No. Not connecting, but now we see Cola. Good opportunity, good movement again at the ledge from Cola. Step back. You don't know me like that. Taking that stock, and now Shattuck again has to find himself in a position where he needs oh! to retaliate. And just like that, we're in the last stock, game five. Can Shattuck Cola, so much damage being hit, so many buttons being hit. Who's going to find the best one, though, Max? Who's going to close out this game five? Oh, you see them respecting each other oh! in that shield pressure situation as well. Shattuck going to get away with it, though. Now it's Cola ah! who needs to come back to the stage. Oh no! Oh, I that pin was going straight in his face. You know he's looking for a uh, back air. Oh, oh my God! He countered. Who does that? Because the back air is gonna connect. Shattuck finishing off the reverse 3-0 against Cola. He's too tired to pop off. Yes, <laughs> sends one to the crowd, but that's all he's got. And in a stunning reverse 3-0, Shattuck defeated Cola 3-2 moving on in bracket and eliminating Cola at 4th place as the 12th seed after a phenomenal performance that I will be covering tomorrow as well in order to show you all the crazy pop-offs. And then, there were three. Onan, Shattuck, and Spargo, all of whom are still high schoolers by the way, were the only ones left in bracket, all fighting for the same prize. Shattuck now moved on into losers finals, awaiting the resolution of winners finals, Spargo vs Onan. All these options at a disadvantage, it can be so tough to navigate through Ooh. those. And Steve really never feels like he's in a bad spot sometimes. Spargo, though, knows exactly how to exploit this character, not let him get away with stuff for free. And it's back to even has one good hit from either of them, and we're going to the last stock. That's right, Spargo's got the GPS, right? The damage per second. Up smash, clearing that one out. Good job by Spargo, throwing a few more to Steve, able to make it back from that distance. Own it. What a grab! No the anti-air grab is so good. Onan's been hitting that all Sunday. Such an important day to hit those big grabs on. Oh my god. Alright, I'm still... Okay, okay. Not enough quite yet. Still hanging in there, though. The blade beam just to nudge him away a couple times. He's, he's laughing his head guard. He's laughing. Right. Right? Okay. <laughs> he'd be throwing neutral B out. Back air that time, over the block. You're done. No ledge needed. But the ledge traps are still coming out here. Gonna blow up the TNT, cover the roll as well. Steve is so good at limiting your options in that spot, man. Ooh. And yeah, look at that. Again, just dicing the minecart up. Doesn't really have to interact. Oh! See his range, and he is so brave. This is a character with pretty limited recovery, but Spargo doesn't make it look that way. Absolutely. I love the edge guard too. Anything you uh, can to beat Steve like that. Comeback happening on the first stock. I don't know. He doesn't have a lot of juice left. Able to get just an upper limit. Misses the ledge right there, though. I don't know if that was a mix or not, but either way, Onan was ready. Giving it up on that stock. Only did a great job fighting out of that corner, but now you need to, what is Spargo gonna do? Charge limit, Blade Beam looking for setups at the ledge. This is where he's been winning in this game too, Max. Looking for Blade Beam. Oh, look at him, ledge slipping. Climb hazard having, but oh, oh, hold on. Oh, get off of me and get off of the stage and get out of this game too. Great damage already, by the way. 15 seconds on the clock and 130, 150-ish on both competitors, crazy. This is already a bloodbath in the first 20 seconds. Ooh. Barry into the limit cross oh, last. what? And the TNT. Oh. Wow. Getting zoned out by this massive Ooh. sword. How do you break through a character as slow to move as Steve? Oh my god, Spargo is locked in, man. Forward air cross slash, huge damage. If anything, might just steal out the set. It's looking dominant for the cloud right now. 
Yeah, he's about to lock in a spot in Grand Finals on the winner's side. If things keep going oh, like this, okay. wow, right, no well, kill game. screen or nothing. Spargo moves on 3-0 in dominant fashion. Straight through Onan, straight into Grand Finals. The way we like to see it from Spargo, man. Again, playing the match with and in the end, Spargo defeated Onan 3-0, moving on into Grand Finals from winner's side and sending Onan down into loser's finals where Shattuck awaited. Our terror, we all hate them. But either way, game one's gonna be starting up here between two competitors. I gotta say, I mean, we talk about Shattuck's rise to fame. I mean, Onan, similar thing, like just came out of nowhere, you know, blow up, played amazingly. That's, I think everyone thinks that Smash gone immediately when they think of Onan. So either way, we're gonna be in game one here. Steve, Corin, so interesting, because I feel like Steve, Cool, honestly. Yeah, for real. Missing Genesis as well Whoa! as this. Whoa! Oh, Rube oh Goldberg God. coming through. The Going one, through the, two. The whole <laughs> obstacle course. The, the science escape project, room. bro. Yeah. All right, the pin through the platform, <laughs> though. Even a character as short as Steve gets hit by that, which I think is worth pointing out, because <laughs> normally the taller characters are getting popped by stuff like that. This is Onan, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> Just like things <laughs> off the walls. <laughs> I'm living. Oh, off stage, though. Ah, I was going to oh. say, Steve with a fantastic recovery. Just not enough juice to make it back there. Unfortunate for Onan. Onan using the ability ah. to flank with this character. Of course, it's so difficult to ledge trap Steve. He's got a million and one options. Oh my god, the Nair actually getting stuck on the block. The hitbox didn't finish circulating ah. around Corrin. And that oh, allowed Onan oh to get an god. opening. What a jump away, what a reaction right there from Chad. And getting out of the corner, getting some good damage. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, he's ah. untackable. <laughs> yeah. Really good stuff from Onan, just like that. We got a really tight game, Max. Building a little platform for himself as well, so he's just making back to the ground. Okay. Shattuck though, Ooh. oh my god, still in control, Ooh. calling out that return from the ledge with back air. Gold crazy right now, doesn't want to lose this game to 100%. Any tricks he's got, he's throwing them at him. Nice, dude! Getting off this ledge, really Ooh. the main assignment here for Shattuck does just that, finds a pain, ah. and now Onan has to oh recover! Oh my god, dude, back air at the ledge. Take it easier, it could be you, it could happen to you as well. Yeah, we Definitely be pretty oh. painful to get a taste of your own medicine Ooh. in that way, but the back air at ledge once again, shutting down hopes of this comeback. Onan still in it. Now though, oh, Onan with a falling up air. Good movement right here from the Steve, and again, just playing that second hit game. So, oh wait, is that it? Oh, oh my god! Oh wow, are we still alive, Max? I can't believe Shattuck still picked up the oh, hit, and the back air's gonna close it out. Shattuck moves on to Grand Finals for the second weekend in a row. Back to wow. back, Cirque to Collision, you name it, he's there. The kid is phenomenal. And ultimately, Shattuck defeated Onan 3-0, moving on in bracket and eliminating Onan at third place as the 16th seed after a dramatic return to form for the young Steve. Shattuck now moved back up into Grand Finals from loser's side for the run back from winner semis against Spargo. This set is basically the greatest young prodigy of today versus the greatest young prodigy in history, and the two of them would throw down for one more shot at the title of champion at Collision 2024. The candle to that kind of dominance at tournaments, Shattuck, he is well on his way to doing the same exact thing. A win on Spargo here would be monumental Ooh. for his career, but even just to have the privilege of sitting next to him in Grand Finals, this is something that none of us could have seen coming just six months ago. What a treat it is to watch Shattuck rise through the ranks. Let's get it. Not to mention both these players, Genesis top eight qualifier, or they the top eight of Genesis as well, which is just ridiculous. Both these players on fire this year so far, pairing the last hit of that limit cross last year, super important to get a better optimizer upon this, right? All day to react to it. Good job hugging shield again. Holding shield after parrying a multi-hit. Very important. The awareness of Shattuck is there, Max. Using that pin kick just to escape the corner as well. Ooh. Such a useful Ooh. move for so many reasons. Oh, oh my god. god! So is Cloud's back air, if I might say. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. The triple piece off stage, finishing that stock from, like I said, don't be surprised if he gets aggressive off stage. He plays his character core too. He knows where she could die early. Pressure now between both players tied in percentage with the stock lead for Spargo. We get a little reckless here. Let's see what he does. Looking for a boosted F tilt for good spacing from Shattuck. Gonna keep him alive here in this game one with a back air. Still gonna do it. There's one thing Spargo knows how to do. Of course, you have to connect with the shield to keep deciding if you want to slash it. Uh huh. Off stage here, too. Threatening at the ledge. I'm gonna go off stage on that. Good get up attack there. Hey, I know you're being aggressive. Let me shut that down real quick. Give me some space. There into back air. Such a reliable combo. Uh -huh. And that pin, what a demonic move that is. The crowd reeling at that up air and how it connected. But you know what? It's a great defensive option. We're going to see it a lot from Spargo in this grand final match. Ooh! The 
Up oh, air? Oh my god. Oh! He tried to execute, tried to execute him. Yep, 100%. And he wanted in now. All right. Shattuck back to the wall, obviously in the lead in terms of percent, uh -huh. but you need to land a finisher, uh -huh. and that's going to be it. The frame trap off of that down tilt, beautifully executed. Shattuck looking to carve out his spot on that list, and he's done a damn good job of it in the last six months, Ooh. but of course a win Dang. here would be so huge. Not off to a good start, though. Almost 50 damage right off the bat, but he can respond in kind. Yes! Dude, falling up there yet again. Good option to get out there because he is covering these air dungeons so well. Again, uh, Corrin, like a guaranteed frame trap. Here, though, Spargo at the ledge. Back air has been the go to tool. Trying to cover high. Air dodges to keep the limit and the positioning here. Shattuck forced to go low. Could be a down air. It is, but not the good one. Oh, Blade Beam Sniper! Oh, the dash attack, the coverage, the sequence right there from Spargo. Poetic. Once again, pressure in the middle here. Boosted stat here on the limit. Oh, this might be curtains. Going all the way down. No way. I was going to say, there's no way he makes that back. Fourth error recovery in there. Neutral yet again. Setting up this pressure. Trying to get him to spend the limit. The dash attack is used. Forward air. Oh, he misses oh. the limit, though. Doesn't finish off that stock. Not quite yet, but I got to say, Shadow is doing really well at the beginning of this game four. Ah! Oh, and the down air and a shield. Sure. Down air gets Spargo back to the ground. Okay. Oh, looking for another roll read. Spargo playing for the mental damage at this point. He has a whole set to spare. You might as well try everything just to make sure you get it done here. Neutral air trying to cover it. Forward air looking for an up air. Almost closing on the tournament. Back air though, as you know, it's going to be the button, Max. Oh, oh my god, like we said, the executioner is in the building. Spargo taking that down. 3 1. Absolutely phenomenal Smash Brothers Ultimate. We saw it. And in the end, Spargo defeated Shattuck 3-1, which would end up eliminating the young Korn at second place as the number 6 seed, and with Spargo becoming your champion of Collision 2024 as the second seed. This tournament wasn't like the last few majors that we've seen recently. There wasn't as much insanity like we saw at Cirque 3, nor was there an extremely close grand set like at Bonito Harbor, among others. In fact, with the exception of a few outliers, this tournament was fairly standard. But that may have been the best part. For once, we could sit back and not worry about anything but seeing some classic competition between some of our favorites. The theme of this year's collision was heroes versus villains. And instead of any third party messing around with that, this year's collision was a good old fashioned slugfest. And let me tell you, I was quite the fan of it. That's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons Seth Laster, Fosco 33 Logan S, Persipom, Wawa, Mr. Sinister, Happy Feet, Ocean Man, Misty Bot, and my Tinja patrons Iltis and Diamond Blaze. Additionally, shout out my YouTube members DJ Jr., Defective, Boston R, Iltis, Gonas B, Kirby Fan, Nexus, Soko Soko, and my Tinja members Mike G, Wu Chang Forever, and Storm Trooper. Lastly, extra special thanks to my Tier 3 supporters Fat Blizzard, who says Zamba is the best player on the planet, and Avidun, who hasn't given me their message just yet. I'll get back to you. If you want to support me using any of these methods, links are in the description down below. Also, I want to give one last sincere thanks to Let Me Fly for their continued support of my channel. Link to their Twitter is also in the description. Don't miss tomorrow's upload. But until then, I've been Mr. Mice, and thank you all so very much for watching.